would uh, not allow the executive session. I would entertain a uh, motion to approve the, uh, uh, the superintendent's recommendation that we hire uh, Lindsay, Lindy, 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 Lindy Stetson. Lindy Stetson as uh, the uh, second administrator for the uh, RSUB. A salary of? A salary of $83,500. Mm -hmm. uh, Day contract. 220? 220. Uh, I second the motion. Discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say no, are saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay, we have another principal. Thank you. Bobby? Yeah. And her first assignment will be to advertise for a day. Yes. Yeah. Two. Two vacant positions. Oh, speaking of vacant positions. Can we talk about of the other position in Rochester and have we gotten applications and uh for the two three combination yes no let me show you what we're putting on the we, we thought um, perhaps that our other candidate would reconsider but the final decision has been made there okay gotcha yeah i talked to her she's sitting here so this is what we are in front of you maybe just to enjoy one minute of This is the ad for the two three combination that we'll put on school spring or spring school as Jamie likes to call it.
Thank you. I make a motion to approve the minutes of the May 1st and the May 22nd meeting. Oh, and here's the, oh, I already have these. Oh, this is May 15th. May 15th and 17th. But that's so not on the agenda. They're not warned on the agenda. They're not warned on the agenda. Right. So it's just a motion for the first and the second. Do I hear a second? Second. Okay. Uh, Motion is made and seconded to approve the uh, minutes of the 1st and the 22nd as found in the packet. Um, they seem fine to me. Does anyone have any uh, uh, discussion? Hearing none, uh, all those in favor of approving the minutes as presented, speak about it saying aye. Aye. Opposed? The minutes are approved. I would like the, the minutes also to note that uh, the board wants to thank both Dan McKinley and Joanne McDonald for their work on uh, our annual meeting, both moderating and producing the uh, big official minutes, big official annual big minutes. Official minutes. Uh, next. <laughs> We have in front of us 25 uh, po uh, policies that Jane was part of the policy committee on, on putting together. Um, these are the 25, there's 25 of the 26, there's one required policy that got skipped, but these are all uh, policies that for the most part are, uh, well, they're all required by law, first of all, they're all required by statute. And for the most part, their language is uh, fairly inflexible. Um, most of the, for example, the uh, uh, say you know there, there's policy B6 in the middle that just uh, for example just says that we we agree that we will follow the uh, federal uh, health insurance portability and accountability act of 1996. And we have a policy that says that affirms because we're required by law to affirm that we are going to follow HIPAA rules. We are going to prohibit tobacco in our elementary schools, student alcohol and drugs, and so on and so forth. Can I just ask the question about mm -hmm. the class size policy? Does that have anything to do with student-teacher ratios that the governor's talking Well, about? yeah, and if the governor gets his way, that's going to change. Yeah. But we were required to have one. What it says, yeah. is, what it says is very generalized. Yeah. You know, because it doesn't, I don't see numbers. No, I know. Uh, some of the districts like Randolph have numbers, but it was the committee's desire not to put them in. Uh, so for now, anyway, we may get forced to put them in at some point, but right. not at this point. Um, just point of order, just you should not pay attention. I don't know if anybody's reading it. I, I, I wanted to make a conversation at some point. Not about this, uh, but about this. The Act 46 policy, the last part of Act 46 that's going to be installed. Are you talking about section 10? 10? Section 10, yeah. The letter that uh, came out, you mean, is about what the actions of the mm. it says what remaining the ones yes. that aren't, aren't merged. Is that what that's about? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. It basically, it says that this they're not going to make at this point, they're not going to make Pittsfield join with Hancock and Granville. They all, they are not going to uh, change Stratford as a standalone district. They're not going to change Thetford as a standalone district. They're not going to change Sharon as a standalone district. They are going to for, force Barnard to merge. So Barnard will be merged into uh, the elementary school district that uh, the, the, the modified union. Uh, so would the alternative plans accept you, Carl, or? No, 24 of the 34 weren't. Yeah, there's a lot of them that got. 24 are being recommended to the state board to merge. Right. But Stratford and Sharon were able to? They're going to be able to stand alone. With because there's no, one to, there's no one for them to merge with, really. Because they're different structures. Right. Different. They also said there was strange language in there because they also said something about pending further information or further information gathering. So right. it doesn't sound like it wasn't fine. fine. Well, it sounds like they've left the door open. And right. Pittsfield's what, out on their own? Pittsfield is right. still in, in, in Windsor yeah. Central, although they said they may reassign them. Well, they didn't buy some of the arguments that home values had right. gone up or down in Pittsfield. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah
There are times there during the year, year if you have tax anticipation, though, that what's that mean? Um, just, I'm just okay. going to explain. Uh, basically, there are times during the year where the towns don't come with the money because they haven't collected it yet, but we need to continue to run. So what we do is we take uh, the tax anticipation note out, and then as soon as we get the money from the towns, we pay it back. So that's kind of how it works because in those flow uh, times when things aren't flowing. So what what David did is give you this this uh, sheet uh, that basically talks about the months of the year where it's a little dry and uh, and tried to make you understand about how that works. This one. This one. Oh, really? uh, yeah. Cash flow projections. Yeah. So he's trying to give you some idea about how that flow goes. Now, what, so what you see on this is uh, you see four different banks, um, Mascoma, uh, U Union Bank, Community Bank, and Community National Bank have all bid on our work, basically, for these tax anticipation notes. And, you know, some, some are up, some are down, some are good in some places and not so good in other places. So he had to analyze all these to try to figure out exactly what the best deal was for us. And what he's recommending to you, what he's recommending to you is the middle one, which, uh, and Mascoma, uh, which he believes is the best deal. Mascoma? Mascoma Bank, which is, uh, yeah, if you look up at the top, uh, you'll see Mascoma, mm -hmm. fiscal year 19, Mascoma Savings Bank. He believes that there are some areas that they're, Overall, they're the best that we can do, and he's recommending that you, we don't, you don't need to sign anything, but it'd be nice if you could make a motion if you agree. Uh, that I you believe the Mascoma Bank is who Rochester has been using. Right, so yeah, this is the bank you've been using, and as they came across with some good numbers. Well, good, year. it's nice to be, that we went out and took a look at it yeah. again. And yeah. But it's nice that our local Well, they have to do it for seven years. They have to put it out. Mascoma is a local bank, right? Some of the other local banks don't do okay. it. So. I agree. I, 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 would, I would follow David's expertise if he feels that that is the yeah. right way, then I, I agree. I would entertain a motion to uh, accept uh, the uh, Mastoma tax anticipation note bid as presented by the business manager. I so hope. We hear a second? Second. <laughs> All right. Uh, motion to be made is seconded that we approve the bid, uh, that we approve the business manager's recommendation that we use Mascoma Bank for our uh, the tax anticipation note for the 1819 year. Discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Okay. All opposed? Yeah. All right. We can add one thing under. Uh, New business, it'll take like two minutes or one minute. Sure. I just want to tell you about it. Uh, now? Or, yep. What are we uh, just want you to know that the state has approved the $25,000 grant for school safety oh, yeah. for each of the schools, and we're going to need to figure out how that's going to be spent. We have a pretty tight timeline to come up with uh, the idea. Some of the other schools have used it for cameras, others have used it for locks. Um, Different, different kind of statement. It's got to be for student safety. But it's, it has to be on hardware. It doesn't have to be on hardware. It, it, does. it could be training. I guess it could be training and some other things. So I would encourage at least to do Well, they're going to encourage us to do equipment issues first. They're going to encourage us. It is competitive. We don't have it. Every school gets $25,000. I believe it's every year gets $25,000. But I have to. Yeah, I'd love it if you clarify and see a recommendation for the administration. Well, I know that I know that uh, Royalton's uh, done is going to do some camera upgrades and some locks. Um, I know that uh, they're talking about uh, something like that in, in Stratford. I talked to them. So. And, and those are actually the first two things that they're going to recommend. I spoke with the, with the guy on Pillar about about our Rochester campus, and he said that the first two things are. To, like secure the classroom. So that's why they're working on locks that can be locked from the inside. Many schools have doors that can only be locked from the outside and the key. So they're changing out those things. Then shading on the doors. Doors can be locked from the inside. <laughs> 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 I have not heard about the case. 
shading on the windows and stuff like that. So. Um, so just to know that that's no, not it's twenty five thousand dollars is for each each that's school. Each for every school, yeah. Or each district? No, it's not each district. Okay. Each building, building school. school. The uh, state police or sheriff's department had to come around a few months ago and do an assessment of the buildings. Uh, that's something that the governor or yeah, the governor asked right. to be done. So uh, we do have some work that's been done uh, to, to look at our building. I don't know okay. if we came here. Uh, but yeah, I know they got in trouble. Did you get, did you get some we had a state we had a state trooper, yeah, state trooper came and visited. I know the sheriff's department did it in, in Royalton and uh, Great. so just know about that. And I, Lindy's actually already sent me an email and wanted to know if we could talk tomorrow at the principal's meeting a little bit and um, I'm gonna suggest that we connect with David because I think that first level of walking around um, you can do pretty easily to figure out what what you have and what you don't. What, what kind of communication is there between the two buildings mm -hmm. in Rochester? Yeah, the there is communication. Uh, our biggest need right now is we don't have speakers that can be heard on the field. Down when the kids are playing soccer or out at recess, that's our biggest outside need. Um, we can talk between the two buildings. Now, whether that system needs to be upgraded or not is what we're playing on right now. Did anybody talk about this school monitoring behind the school? This seems to me to be the most vulnerable area of this school back there. Yeah. The other thing I was going to mention to David several years ago, and I, I, I don't know why there's really a very good reason for it, but several years ago a safety bulletin came out that said you shouldn't park your school buses right close to your building because of the ease with which things can be attached to them and driven up to your building. So they encourage school buses to be parked further away. So I don't know the reason as far as right out front here, but those are the kinds of things they look at. Mm -hmm. That's sad that we have to do that. Oh. It is sad that we have to do that. Uh, yes. yeah. We have to cry. Yeah. 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 All right. And just an update on the dental trailer. It was a success. It's been Great. there. Um, I didn't hear that it didn't happen, so I believe that a couple of youngsters came up from Stockbridge. That was in the original plan. Somebody was mm -hmm. going to school them up there. Um, our hope is that we can get hooked in, get our Stockbridge transits hooked in, so that the that the trailer can come also come down here. It's staffed by wonderful people. You barely knew they were in the school. Um, it's startless. Don't hold me to this gentleman. I'll say dark, darkness dental hall, I think. Chelsea, but no, it's not some kind of dark. But I'll find that. Yeah, that's what it is. Health hall. Yeah, health hall. Um, and the interesting thing about it is that it's not Dartmouth, it's, it's within our district. Yes, that's what it is. Okay. No, they've got a lot of different brands, but it's been a whole room. Okay, well, anyways, it's a wonderful program. And after the school hours, um, uh, adult members of the community can use it, and several adults came oh, in, that's in, cool. in the afternoon. One of the other things you're finding about in Vermont, and since we're in more isolated towns, is that as we get older, some of our older citizens have lost their ability to drive or travel far, and their dental care is starting to slide. So that's why they opened it up in after school hours to adults. And for two full afternoons, we had adult public. Excuse me. Was there a post about that or anything that it, that it was expanded? I don't, I, know. I don't sure know about that. that. Yeah, I didn't know that I was it certainly was, it, it was sent home. It was in the original paperwork that was sent home. Oh, but if they didn't have a child, they didn't know. Right. Yeah. I, this is the first well, time they've been there, and I think that at, at each time they well, come, yeah, there's been yeah, more and more. Yeah, I think word. We actually did this. Children. I think okay. it was up in the community and Jane got the word out it was on our Facebook page okay, and good. places like that. But yes, it was definitely mm -hmm. yeah. Like those little signs for the blood in the water oh, yeah, when yeah. it comes yeah. to spring out on the park. That's a yeah, so it'll be back in the fall. And, yeah. and according to plan, the same group of youngsters will have their six month check out. Oh, oh, that's great. Hopefully we'll be. Can we get that? Well, that's just going to try. That's our next. What's that? That's on the list of Wendy and I and Jane Glick. Mm -hmm. cool. mm -hmm. Beehive grants for next year. That's great. There are three of them. So, okay. Uh, unemployment and compensation. Uh, go ahead, on with other business if you want. I do want to show you communication team. before we move on yeah, to yeah. discussion items. Um, okay, so um, oh, actually, quite a while back in March, um, a Jason 
Uh, Gangold, I'm not sure. He's on the RTC um, board, and he was um, asking, hoping that in the future, um, uh, some members or a member from our board would um, come to attend their board meetings. They have four a year. Um, he anticipated that our TCC would still be appealing to students from Rochester, Stockbridge as a technical center. Now, I don't know, and he was saying that having great communication can serve us all well. Um, I, I was contacted by him about, about that. Now, I know, you know, going forward, things are a little different than, than they were in the past, so I just wanted um, us all to be aware that they're invited, you know, would like somebody to, to come. The RTCC, is that what you said? Yeah, RTCC. What is that? That is a professional. Oh, so the right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. So it's a little different speed because we're, we're not, I'm not the high school kids anymore, yeah, so, right. so it's yeah. elementary. But it's, it has nothing to do with elementary, but we're still responsible for our kids with kids. Right. And we still want to support the programming that's going on over there yeah. for our high school kids. They didn't have any money, too. I just had a program to bring some technical stuff over. And stuff. I don't know how their structure is set up, but the board I'm on, the Otter Valley Board, the Rutland Votech, actually has a slot on its board. For, for an Otter Valley representative. So every year we appoint someone to sit on the board. Right. It's amazing the information they bring back right. about how our kids are doing. I, mean, I know that Bethel had someone in Rochester used to have someone in the neighborhood. Right, well. someone was interested. I mean, we just had a presentation at our last board meeting. We had like eight kids there. I don't understand tech centers. I've never been responsible for one, but there's some national competition they compete in. And of the eight youngsters, that we send over there, seven of them had reached honors level in this competition, this national competition. Yeah. So it gives you a sense of how your youngsters are doing who have chosen that route for their for their prize, their next step. So right. well, and we want to know responsible for that. In the yeah. past with varying levels of success, we've had um, you know, and I know we had one in January in Rochester for the for the families, but again the, the idea that we have something to come that Let's parents see what the choices are for their yes. kids. Um, we need to talk about know, I think that it needs to you know, needs to be more to than just yeah. you know Bethel Royalton and, and Sharon Academy and Woodstock. I think it's important to talk yeah, about. Yeah, we'll that. need to start that curl for our sixth graders because it will now be our sixth graders in both campuses that will be making that decision. Right. Yeah. Uh, so we, we went to the, the one in Rochester yeah. for middle school and it was helpful. There were a lot of different. Lot it wasn't just the. The three or four, I think Randolph was there. I think we had eight here. Yeah, it was, it was really quite nice, nice, I thought. Yeah. Um, so, anyway, I just wanted to bring that to everybody's attention that they're really welcoming. And I wasn't sure, but it says volunteer to attend our, our board meetings, and there's only four a, um, a year. It does, uses the word attend and not sit on the board. So, we would need but, clarification if they're actually looking for somebody to sit on the board or not. Um, but it's one of the people to be aware of that. Maybe what they would hope. Right. Right. Um, and then the only thing. Right. Well, yeah, no, no, it's just that's a, a, a move up there is one thing. Sitting on the board meeting is something very different because that's dealing with technical issues. I'm just right. I'm curious what they think that will do for us. Yeah. Um, the only other thing was, is, um, as I was reading through the minutes, uh, at the last meeting there was a question um, uh, about our Forest Friday site, if it was going to be disturbed by the town during the septic repair, um, and it is not going to be disturbed. Oh, good. So okay. the children it's, will not be, we can't yes, access it. The children will not be allowed around that area where the work is being done on um, the classroom. Okay. 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 Excellent. Bruce has handed me uh, three documents we need to uh, individually approve. Um, <clears throat> number one, they, they're all uh, a VHI, which is the Vermont Education Health Incentive Health Initiative. It's uh, the nonprofit that runs uh, uh, basically all the teacher benefit programs in the state. Um, so we need to uh, approve participation in the uh, dental benefits uh, program for next year. I would entertain a motion that we, we uh, participate in offering our teachers dental benefits. Second. Uh, motion is made and seconded that we uh, participate. Uh, discussion? Hearing none, all those in, uh, in favor of participating in the V High Dental Benefits Program signify by saying aye. Aye. Uh, Carl, I think you have to sign it. Yes. I'm do that. I'll do that in a minute. What's the official name of that? 
Uh, the VHI, the Vermont Education Health Initiative, VEHI, Dental Benefits Program. Um, we also have an agreement to participate in the uh, VHI Medical Benefits Program to, uh, to, uh, particip to, to authorize the, the district to participate in uh, health care for our teachers. I entertain a motion to do so. So moved. Second. Second. All those in favor of offering uh, or participating in the VHI uh, Education Health Initiative uh, Medical Benefits Program signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Lastly, this is a, uh, a different group. This is the Vermont School Board's Insurance Trust. And uh, they are the uh, a, a state group that uh, manages uh, unemployment compensation for our staff, our faculty and staff. And they would like us to uh, uh, vote and we need to participate in the unemployment compensation program. If we do not, we are deemed self-insured and we will have to pay any uh, uh, unemployment claims that then might arise in our district uh, ourselves. Um, there's insurance for a reason. I entertain a moment uh, a motion that we uh, agree to participate in the Visbit uh, Employment Compensation Program. That's so moved. Second. Second. <laughs> the motion has been made and seconded that we participate, uh, the district participate in the Visbit uh, uh, Unemployment Compensation Program. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor speak by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed? Okay, there you go, Bruce. We have insurance and all Okay, good. It doesn't matter tomorrow. I think it wants you to sign it, right? There's some dates that are not filled in. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll fill them in. Right. It's, it's uh, whatever. Okay. It, it, we'll fill them in. I, I'm just a messenger. <laughs> this is the business office trying to get each of you to do it. Did so, you do it? No, the end of the month. But Ginger has been. Uh, yeah, all right. Is there any other business, Bruce? Just to tell you that Ginger has been appointed um, as uh, our new business manager. Taking over for David. Taking over for David, July 1, and that uh, we are interviewing the her replacement and someone else who is in the budget for next year. Uh, we're going to get somebody who's really good with accounting and somebody who's really good with special education funding. So, uh, and we have finalists for those positions. I interviewed one today. So special essential. Yeah, it's and you've got to know what that is. We the, the person uh, that we've talked to is a uh, former associate uh, associate uh, business manager from uh, another local district and that's what she worked on. Okay, is there anything else for no, I'm good. I'm good. Um, so it's very important that uh, we all note that uh, Wednesday, June 20th, oh, yeah. there is a, uh, a big um, um, wagon wheel uh, meeting to approve um, the uh, labor contracts. We, we anticipate that the uh, Associations, I believe the support staff have already voted. They've ratified it. Uh, there was some clarifications that needed to be done with health insurance, but right. I think so. The, 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 the proposal, uh, the proposal has been ratified by the support staff uh, for their their labor contract and the uh, professional, the, the NEA uh, professional staff uh, should be ratifying their contract. The eleventh. Uh, the eleventh. Um, once that happens, we all need to ratify them. This is a, a, a meeting. It's kind of like a, it's kind of like. Yes, the we, we yes, the we, current boards. Okay. The current board, and as and well board. as the new SU board, have to have to participate. So in that. all of you should come. So it it uh, pretty much needs to be uh, everyone. June twentieth, June twentieth, June twentieth. Yeah, there oh. will be food. Sure. Oh, I asked about so that. So why is this because it's, because it's the ratification of the contract? Is that it? Right. So what happens is there'll be a big presentation to all the boards. The, the SU board, and we convene as an SU meeting. There'll be a big, uh, a big presentation to all the boards. Then it gets tabled at the SU level um, for uh, a couple hours or for an hour. 
while the individual boards go off and convene individually to approve. Because the tricky piece is, is that the contract really, because the contract applies to the, for all different bargaining units, there's the Rochester Stockbridge bargaining unit for the elementary teachers, there's the Royalton Bethel bargaining unit, um, but it's one contract. It becomes very tricky if not everyone wants to approve it, but everyone has the right to not approve it. So what, what happens is, well, first of all, uh, a, fair, a fair labor bargaining requires that you bargain in good faith. So there's been a, a group of people from the board that have been bargaining in good faith with the union. We, we all will, will tell you why we think it's a good, a, a good arrangement. We have to, because we bargained it, we have to, you know, those of us that bargain have to support it. I made a presentation to, 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 to the full board. Should the board choose to reject it, that's their right. But what we want to do, where it gets tricky is if a body approves it and a body doesn't approve it. So we have this general discussion, and we all kind of hammer out and make sure we're all on the same page and that everyone is, is pretty confident that they're going to approve it. Just like when in an executive session you can't take any action, but you can discuss and, and sort of suss out what's going to happen. By the same token, we're going to, we're going to have the conversations. We're hopefully all going to get on the same page. We're going to go separate and in, separate into in, in individual district boards. In this case, because this contract is for the year that we are finishing, it has to be ratified by um, the original Rochester and Stockbridge boards. Um, once we do that, we come all we can, we come all back together and, and, and then approve it as an SU, and hopefully it gets you know, approved by all the districts so we don't have contracts that are, that are supposed to be for an SU that aren't that are voted down by districts. And then do we? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's the problem you right at the beginning. So if that's one district doesn't approve, what does that mean? If, if everyone, if, well, what happens, the idea is we, if, if there's a district that's not going to approve, we figure that out in the discussion, and then we table the vote so that we can, we can go back and negotiate, give continuing negotiations as, as a unified body. We don't have a contract that's been approved by Rochester and Stockbridge and Bethel and Royals and everyone but Strafford basically. And then Strafford has to negotiate whatever their pieces of it are that are separate. The, the, really the, 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 the unified contracts really work best when all the districts approve them. And it's, I mean, I think that it's, it's you know, uh, it, it's, it's a fair deal. We can't really discuss it in public. It's a yet. huge step. But it does, it, it rectifies. It is. Um, currently, there's a different number of student contact days in the old Win Orange Windsor districts and in the Windsor Northwest districts. We have more contact days here. And it becomes a problem yeah. mostly for Bethel and Royalton because there the no. Royalton kids have one group of days and the Bethel kids have another group of days. And right. they would have to, you know, either like not let the world, you know, do a special field trip for Bethel kids or do something. Because it's, it's it's not you know. Is it, there, is, is it possible to, to give us some sort of preamble before the meeting of your take on it or the negotiations or what the high points and low points are? Um, do that yeah, we can we can do that. that, 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 that meeting. Oh, no, I just mean, not, not having known anything about it. Right. I think we can we can talk about it. I can go. I mean, we can go into executive session and talk about it again. Want to do that again? Uh, I I just don't know if that's necessary. I'm just. How much should we know about this? Well, one of the things that, that will happen at the meeting was there will be um, a, some, some of that information. There will be a lot of opportunity to ask I think questions. Probably the, the reading will probably is designed to read one of the Yeah, I think it should, yeah, it should, it should be fine. But this is such a big step, and we labored so hard, uh, both sides, you know, to try to get to where we are. And, uh, mm -hmm. So, are the teachers happy? Or? I don't know if they've seen it yet. Okay. They're going to see it on the 11th. That's when they're going to feel it. I'm sure that some of the insiders have seen it. And, uh, yeah, I mean, they've been negotiating. They've been talking to each other. And teachers negotiating. Certain things they wanted, certain things they could give up. But uh, just like us. You know what I mean? But uh, try to, to try to bring two SU contracts together. Uh, and it just is taken. I know that with the support staff, we probably had 20 meetings, probably 20 meetings over the winter. And then with the professional staff, 
maybe a few less than that, maybe 18, 17, but it was, it was long. And the final kind of part of this was just about six of us sitting down and, and hammering that out. And that worked pretty well. Because there was an awful lot of language changes that had to happen. There were different things in different contracts that we needed to come throw some things out, put some things in, merge the language, and merge the, the whole salary deal actually done to it. It's a huge effort. Uh, has, but, to, has to be a credit to both teams because a number of districts <coughs> finalized a contract whose last year is right is next year. So they mm -hmm. sit down to start all over again in September. Mm -hmm. But you folks got an extra year. Well, yeah. <laughs> Which is funny right the way that works. Well, <laughs> as long as it happens. The support staff is, uh, is shorter, but it's but it, they have blended language too. So at least the proposal is the teacher right. language is a little longer blended language. So. Not related to the contract, but um, school calendars for next year. Do we have like do we already have the same calendar as Rochester or? The, 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 the whole SG the SG merged SG. their calendars. Yeah. There is only one exception, and I didn't like it, but I have to learn a little bit of it. It was the Tundra's Fair. The Tundra's Fair. The Tundra's Fair. I think was tweaked in it, maybe not a lot, so you better, you better I'll get you the... The Tundra's Fair. The Tundra's World's Fair. Correct. The Tundra's and Chelsea are going to go to the Tundra's Fair, and they're going to return from... January vacation one day early to make up the day that they're going to be at the Tundra Fair. You, it's taken four years to get all the schools to do the same calendar together. And it's just been, I mean, everybody's used to having their own calendar, and it's just, that's a nightmare. Because every time. Is this time, the first year that all of them will be the same? It's the, well, we have to start, first go by the tech center. They have to be the ones to drive it. We were not allowed to deviate from what they do. I mean, we can a little bit, but not much. So, I mean, in the future, it'll, it'll, now that we've merged and now that we have a unified calendar and a unified budget and a unified, or not a budget, but a unified language in our contract, I mean, things are just going to be so much easier. Well, in case you're wondering why tech centers drive it, in case you're sitting there thinking, why do tech centers drive our cover? It's because it used to be so out of whack. And every day we're out of whack, text student misses two days of school. The day that we're closed, they don't go. The day that the tech center's closed, they don't go. Right. So for two days of school. Well, Rochester particularly has a lot of freedom, I imagine, in the calendar, not having middle school, high school, and the tech center. We're going to have a lot of freedom imagining what our day looks like. Yeah, exactly. You know, That's our right calendar saying. is going to be the district well, calendar. Well, I'm saying, yeah, the day. day, yeah, exactly the day. Because this year, just the whole school was down by the middle the whole of the day. Crazy. Yeah. Oh, the buses yeah. were leaving 20 minutes before the end of the most end of school to to just so they could get yeah. 10 so kids to. What we just did is ask each one of the schools to give us the time that they're spending in language arts or literacy and the time in math. And we had a, a model which is uh, 90 minutes of literacy a day and 60 minutes of a minimum of 60 minutes in math a day. So we wanted to compare what that standard is to what each of our schools are doing. And so we put it all up on the board at the last meeting and we're trying to get people standardized because if you do that Christmas meeting. And we're trying to get everybody around that minimum. You don't want to go any lower than that because it's easy to see why our scores are low if we if Not we cheat time. people on, on that, so... What you spend your time on, that's what you go to yourself. It's so nice to have, be able to talk about that, even for yeah. two minutes. Actually, we can't wait till we get... I don't want to talk about any more mergers. I don't want to talk about any more mergers. State report is yeah. recommending 120 minutes a day in literacy. Mm -hmm. And wow. NCTM, National Council of Teachers in Mathematics, recommends 75 minutes a day in math mathematics. That's what well, so you, so you so also going to be some, but 120 for literacy? That's yeah. the, uh, the last meeting we had, I said, look, we're not going to get back to that strategic plan and make sure we do the things in that plan. One of them is everybody 
reading at grade level by the end of third grade and math at third grade uh, by the end of third grade. And so at the next meeting, which is tomorrow, I think they're going to start dissecting exactly the steps we have to do in order to prepare that goal. Um, I, I, I don't know if this is important at another level. I would love to talk about homework at some point. And it's homework, homework. And it's use and purpose. Because um, I've heard a couple different things, and this isn't maybe the time for it, but I would love to put it on the agenda sometime to talk with just you. Just have an understanding. Yeah, 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 just so we can understand what we're actually trying to achieve and if it's actually what's our homework mm -hmm. philosophy. Yeah, exactly. What's our philosophy? Because I, I have a lot of questions about it and some personal experience, both from my son and other people talking about it. But I, and not tonight. But, just but we should, I mean, but that's a discussion of, for example, that we bring data. We look at the research on what. I would love, I would love to see like whatever. But I mean, some point, I'm just just have an understanding. Of, well, but there's a lot. I mean, how 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 much does a, a six-year-old get for homework? Yeah, how much yeah. does a ten-year-old get for homework? Or how much does a, a oh yeah, five-year-old at this point? Right, right. Homework last year. Um, and it just wins the point that it's actually useful. And I think yeah. that's more of just information for us to know, and that's not really a board decision or no, no, board. No, no, no. It is a service to understand the whole education. Um, we should do that. I think for probably the first big presentation we'll be doing to you is sort of cheap, at least for your Rochester campus, because we've been so governed by the middle school and high school schedule, is how we're changing the schedule for the day. Yeah, I'm really excited. Hoping to get back to like the schedule for this year. Any word from, uh, uh, from uh, what team? No. No. Okay, so we have to find another option for any. Oh, oh I need to go search my car and see if I have a question about the board retreat. Let's get something done for her, baby. Um, There's nobody else to call. Let me go look in my car and see if I have a hot ice cream baby somewhere. And I can come back in the morning. I can get out of the walk. I emailed Donna, I emailed Casey, and I messaged Casey. Hopefully, the computer's going to attack my computer. <laughs> no, they won't, I'm sure. Um, OK, so we had uh, talked about how it would be very beneficial for us to get together and do a retreat. Yeah. And just yeah. to, to chat about. Can I ask you, what, are, yeah, what will be our objectives? Not that I'm negative about it at all. It's just what will be our objectives that we may try to achieve for our kind of retreat that aren't met by a meeting? And what are the conditions? How is it different than a meeting? You can set some goals for next year. Things you want to accomplish. I mean, things that you want usually to be priority. Usually it's, it's, it's the board. Maybe the administration. Usually it's a longer format meeting. So and it's just a lot more talking. Yeah, more talk at the yeah more. but in the afternoon you, 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 you meet and have you, you, you meet and have lunch and talk. Oh, food. Food. Oh, right, right. Food. Food. Yeah, yeah. Food. Yeah. 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 We try to compromise, we kill them, we eat them back. Well, I know that we talked about it, and yeah. you know, so we could talk about. I mean, scheduling is always. What are our goals for next year? Who said it's right? What are our goals for this? And what I would suggest you do there is take your strategic plan and go through it. And maybe at that by the time you have it, Wendy and I have a better understanding on okay, what are what are we thinking? I know that reading right. by the end right. of grade three is going to be a huge part of it. Is that the whatever we do is not just the board going off by themselves, so that you know so I think it needs to be probably you know closer to fall. Yeah. You know, but, at least uh, August. Yeah, maybe even early August, maybe. Right. Maybe, maybe we let's. So we have a board meeting scheduled for August seventh. Let's see where. Let's see. Let's touch base okay. on uh, on where we're at then. And see well, what we're two day retreat with the administrators on the twentieth and twenty first uh, <laughs> of August. Okay. That's, uh, <laughs> Carl, just following up on your point, the, the goals, like you say, the board goals should be aligned with the administrative goals for the school goals, and then that takes us right into a budget cycle, because the budget is just the actualization of sure. your, your, your intent. Right. Should ask this about a meeting or a lunch time? Meeting or a meeting next week? The 12th? We had one scheduled for the 12th. 
we have really, we have really, really to stop those. Yeah. So, but does that mean so that it's not happening? Right. I think, I think we should wait until we get ourselves more together. Yeah. Hear what, what um, Bonnie and Lindy have come up um, with. Will Lindy be at the next board meeting? I'm guessing, unless she has a commitment. When's our next board meeting? The second? The first yeah. Tuesday in August. August. Which is the seventh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she won't have any commitments. Yeah, she will be here. Yeah, I was thinking we had one before then, but no, I think we should keep ourselves open for the possibility if we need to meet. We have a lot going on, but we don't have a plan. Yeah, we don't have a plan meeting. I think we'll see what goes on on the 20th. Yeah, it's just... So we're not going to... I think Wednesday be one. I guess it sounds like we're going to wait until more towards the beginning of school again. Right, so I think enough goods on Wednesday. Let's see where we're at. When, we, when, we, when Lindsay's been on board for a month and, and she and, and uh, Bonnie have had some conversation. Because what I, what I think we haven't, we scheduled a board meeting for the beginning of August and you know, they're like, well, we haven't, even, we haven't done much of anything, but here's what, you know. Right, well, I guess, you know, just the retreat is more right for some just really a, 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 a format to just right. I, 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 talk about, you know. I, I want to be sensitive, I don't want it to go too much. Right past the beginning of the school year because then you're like, well, these are all great ideas year. and we've already got these initiatives in place yeah. and you've got these things going well, on. Like August even feels a little late to me. Except for when... Well, when Lizzie's yeah. just... Yeah. Our, 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 Lizzie's have 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 like Bonnie said, we should take a strategic plan, which we already have. Well, but then we might come in conflict with what we Right, I just want to say, I just, I just think we need to have the administration we'll around. listen too. to the administration first before we do anything at all. You're a new woman. <laughs> and Jamie, if you, if you think I believe that, I have a bridge on or something. <laughs> a new Let woman. Let me enjoy this for a <laughs> um, So, the idea for a board retreat is table. Is that what we're saying? Yes, well, we need, let's get some feedback from, from Lindy on what her availability is and let's for August. Well, what do you guys think? Do you think August. we should wait until Lindy's on or do you think? You better get a date soon. I think yeah, if you don't set a date, everybody's calendar. So I'm already, I mean, you're talking August. Trapper's team there. Trapper's team there. Trapper's team there. Trapper's team there. You know, they've all got a, Chelsea will be doing one pretty soon. What's the first day of school? 29th of August. 29th of August, thank you. So can we do something in July? I, I would say July is a better time for me. And that's the If you're talking a weekend, are you talking a weekend retreat? Well, what do you, what are the, what do you want to do? I mean, what kind of a, you want to go somewhere? You want to have it at school? You want to, I want to cater the fair with massages and possibly water. <laughs> Would that be too hard? You asked what he wanted. Yeah. <laughs> I made her go to massage. How about July 22nd? My daughter? 22nd. No, that's a Sunday. Sunday. Yeah, it's a Sunday. 21st. No. My daughter has surgery July 23rd, so that means I'm going to be gone for sure, and I don't know about the next. 14th. So the 20th? What about the 20th? 20th is a Friday. Friday the 20th. And Friday the 20th. Friday the 20th. Yeah. So that looks good to me. What if we started, what if we started mid-afternoon? I was just going to say, it'd be nicer to do it during, preferably for me to do it more during the day. Yeah, I think it should. Yeah. Like, I don't know what people, what, what people work with. Friday the 26th? On a Friday? It should work. Brian's out of work that day, but I should like, be Should we pencil in noon, noon to 6? July 20th? July 20th, noon to 6. Noon to 6, and we'll find a, a fun spot that's for the water. Let's see where we can go. I don't play Snowflake does not work. <laughs> they have at the part of their spa, they have these oh, wet ones you sit under, Maybe. and they pound on your back, and it feels so <laughs> amazing. We, we've done it up. Only got there twice. We've done it up in um, Virginia, but Jeff had a camp up there, so oh, we did yeah, camp up there. Yeah. I was going to sit by the lake. Um, All right. You want to be in a place where you actually get some work done and don't like, you know. Right. Well, that's the idea. We've done it. Okay, yeah, what's going to happen with you? Yeah. Sleep over? Um, <laughs> no, let's I would entertain, let's, 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 let's entertain a motion to adjourn and let's see what we can figure out. I entertain a motion to adjourn. All right, second. second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. The meeting is adjourned.